Hello everyone and welcome to potentially a very, very interesting, entertaining and possibly a very depressing video. This could be the death of my Mac Pro 2008 after four or five years or whatever it's been of service. Um, it could finally be dead and what I'm going to do now is turn around the camera, show you who I've got with me and basically explain the entire scenario everything that's gone wrong, everything that's happened, and this is definitely going to be an entertaining video. So, ah. here I've got Will. <laughs> <laughs> this is just the best day ever. <laughs> Not Tom, but this, this is entertainment. How often do you, uh, you get to see live a computer go up in smoke? <laughs> what happened there, Tom? Fill us in, what's, what's happening? Well, as you guys might be able to see, here is my lovely MacBook Pro. Um, it's allowing me to speak to Will. Will and I were just having a nice Skype conversation. He was there full screen on my centre display, and I was chilling out on my Mac Pro as usual, enjoying my Sunday afternoon. And uh, all of a sudden, we had a little bit of a screen flicker issue, followed by a no response from keyboard, mouse, sound, display, or anything issue, followed by a... Uh, slight electrical burning smell. Obviously Will and I got disconnected and now I am sitting here in front of a Mac Pro that won't do anything. <laughs> I mean, it, it, was, it was so funny because Tom was speaking to me and I was like, I can hear buzzing, I can hear like a sound and I was like, what is that? And then, and then Tom suddenly goes, oh crap, and then boom, the sky call is dead and I'm like, what happened? What caught fire? What burned? And I messaged him and he was like, I'll be back in a second. And then the second he got back on Skype, he turned around to me and went, I think the Mac Pro caught fire. <laughs> <laughs> and the funniest thing was, we've been sitting, raging, you know, on the, uh, the know about how, how awesome these Mac Pros are, because I've got three of them. And um, then his one decides to... Uh, Kill itself. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny because the first thing I mentioned to Tom was, oh God, I hope that 2600 XT that I sold you didn't blow up and cause your machine to come down. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And, of course, that could still be the case, Will. Um, yeah. I haven't Very actually... Bad. I haven't opened the machine up yet and had a look. Well, I've opened it, but I haven't properly got it up on the desk to have a look, so, yeah. <laughs> You didn't need to open it with that smell. You just knew that that he was having a bad day. <laughs> yeah. Tell him the worst bit. What's happening to you in about an hour? Ah, yes. In roughly an hour, let's have a look at the time, actually. At six o'clock, I've got a client coming round to just finish up a little video editing project that I've had on the go for quite a while. Um, finishing touches, change a few clips here and there, and I want to give her the final export um, or the couple of final exports that I need of this video that I'm getting paid to do that is paying my bills and that video is sitting on this complete lump of um... Eight core doorstep, that's what it is. It's yeah. eight core doorstep. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so that is that. So I came up with a good, good solution though. Um, <laughs> you're gonna love this solution guys. Um, what Tom has got to do now, more than likely, because he's an idiot that doesn't have an external hard drive to close, <laughs> or not for some reason, considering all the hard drives he's got, he's probably going to have to go and shove his scratch disk into his G5, copy it onto his G5, <laughs> and get it on his MacBook Pro somehow, which he won't be able to do over the network fast, because his MacBook Pro doesn't have an Ethernet port, and he's <laughs> only got a wireless G network. <laughs> could, 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 could get worse? <laughs> and of course, of course, all of that is based upon the fact that the G5 has got to boot up for this to be possible. And of course, the G5 is a little bit temperamental, so if that doesn't boot, then I have no idea what I'm going to do. Like Will said, it's basically a catastrophe that I don't own a hard drive dock or external drive enclosure. I don't know what is going on there. <laughs> the funniest thing is, the ironic thing is, is I have an external hard drive dock that I never use sitting in my drawer. But I do happen to be five hours away in the car. So that's not really possible. 
<laughs> it's not going to solve a lot of what is happening. And just to yeah. just to re, you know, I'm, I'm losing my words now because this is this situation is just I was not expecting this. Just to you know go over it a little bit more. Will and I were just casually chatting about random crap. On I was using my Mac Pro. <laughs> And then this this hit us, and now I'm in a, in the space of like would you say less than five seconds? I'm I, I'm in a disastrous situation. <laughs> I, I have written a song off the top of my head just now for the occasion, and it goes a little bit like this: <clears throat> Tom is <clears throat> fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. That, that, that's I, I guess you best stop this intro and go fix the thing. Yes, <laughs> that is the plan. Get to work. Basically, the plan is to, to maybe keep in contact with Will tonight so that we can get him back on the video later, but this is going to turn into a pretty normal but very stressful Mac Pro repair. Um, no, it's not, is it? It's just not going to work, is it? <laughs> this is going to be so a de blase it's going to hurt. Yeah. It, 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 it is going to be... Oh, man. I'm looking forward to this. So am I. <laughs> uh, like you say... Um, yeah. At least... I, I suppose you, you can always use your hacking posh, Tom. <laughs> and just to keep anyone else updated, the, uh, the hackintosh... Do you want to do you want to announce the the, the hackintosh um, interesting point that we have to make? <laughs> you can't get it right zero working with his graphics card. Yeah, and <laughs> I bet no one's ever heard heard of that before. I can't get my my raid to boot if my graphics card is in. I can't get my graphics card to boot if my no if my raid if my raid is in. Then I, oh, you know you know the score. <laughs> So basically, he's got two very expensive door stops slash paperweights slash depressing things sitting around him at the moment. I have, I have, and a very, a very speedy MacBook Pro that cannot connect to a three and a half inch drive in any way possible at the moment, apart from going through a. 12, 13 year old, most horrendous G5 you could possibly imagine. Oh no. Oh dear. But, oh dear. Um, I'm gonna have to go and sort this. So I will keep you guys updated. I'll keep Will updated and Will and I will keep you guys updated all in a circle of updatedness. And um, we will see you guys in a bit. In a bit. <laughs> so everyone, um, Will has just gone and he basically told me to go and get my data transferring as quickly as possible just in case my Mac Pro is toast and I need to get this video out which is totally what I'm going to do in the next second so I'm a little bit rushing but I couldn't resist pulling this guy out because I thought my Mac Pro is so reliable that is the only variable that I've changed in a very long time other than what I did the other day which was move slots and put the optical drive and stuff in so um, I couldn't resist taking it out I've connected a VGA cable to display number three because as you guys know GT640 that only has two digital outputs um, and if my Mac Pro works without this then Will has got some questions to answer because he's the one that sold me the card, which is so crazy. Um, of course, I'm only joking, you know. Anyone can get bad luck, but I really hope this works. Three, two, one. Damn it. Unplugged the power cable, obviously. All right, I'll try again. I know this camera work is terrible, guys. Three, two, one, go. So we're booting up, and if this does work, then the first thing that I want to do is try and contact Will to share with him this experience, which is going to be hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. Okay, obviously no Apple boot screen because of the card. But what's it doing now? Two out of display. Interesting, okay, interesting. No centre monitor still. Why, guys, why is that? Is there something weird happening with my KVM or what? It can't be, it can't be that. It's still plugged in. Oh, 
Perfect. Okay. Hang on a second, guys. Hang on a second. Let's take a look. Mouse works. Oh my gosh. You know what this means, don't you? Oh, you know what this means. Oh, let me have a smell of this. That doesn't smell too great. It's interesting because it was pushing pixels earlier, but no way. Let's see if we can get a hold of Will. So I am now calling Will. Um, he said he had Skype on his phone. He may be on his way home right now. He may be driving, I guess. Ah, oh, is he here? Hang on a second. Hello? Will? Oh, no, I don't think he can hear us. I think he has answered the call. Will? Oh, shit. Okay, I'll try him one more time. Hang on. Let's have a look. One sec. <laughs> okay. Uh, winky face. All right. Let's just see. He's going to love this. He is going to love this. Okay, he's calling me back. He's calling me back. Here we go. Hello? Hey, man. Hey. I can't hear you. You can't hear me. All right, I can hear you now. I can hear you. Yeah, hello? Hello. Hello, yeah. Right. The camera frame rate's weird because I just had to unplug it. I was copying something off an external hard drive. Well, funnily enough... Um, a dock, believe it or not, that you need right now, quite desperately. Um, and I had to unplug my webcam, so I was plugged into a different port, hence the, the low frame rate. Because it's Microsoft webcam life, yo. Um, what's the update? Well, it's interesting you said that thing about me needing the dock and all that jazz. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know why? Why? The, my curiosity got the better of me, and as a really quick resort, just before starting the transfer... Do you want to know what I did? What did you do? If I hold this in the frame... <laughs> what, did, what did it do? Well, well, it doesn't smell too good, dude. Oh, really? Really. Did it die? It's tied. Yeah, check this out, man. Hang on a sec. I've got two cameras on the go here. Check this out. Can you see? Oh, we're working again. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it died spectacularly though, didn't it? It, it did. It, it, it really did. Well, I tried to have to send that back my way and I'll have to exchange it for one of my mini albums when you can the next. Hang on a second. Hang on. Sugars. Oh no. Dude, it just it just flickered the it, you didn't see it, but the, I think the guys in the video saw it. The display is just turned on and off on their own. Can you can you see that? Uh, uh, Hang on. No, sure it's not your computer that killed the card, or did my computer kill your cards? Yeah, that's the question now. <laughs> oh, I did it again. It's doing it again. I wish. Hang on. Oh man, look, centre monitor has gone. Oh no, did you see that? I did see that. Oh, oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> That's not good. How did the rest of the machine... So is, it, is it burning on the rest of the machine? No, it smells fine now. If... if but this is... This is dead, I think. Oh dear. What killed it? That's now going to be the point. Yeah, it really what is. What sort of car that I've had on the machine since 2012? <laughs> it has made two trips to the postal system, admittedly, and that car not done it any good. Yeah, has your card killed my Mac? Oh, God, or has your Mac killed my card? That, that is the age-old question. <laughs> which came first, the chicken or the egg? Or which guy's <laughs> first, the, the XT or the Mac? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> um, I don't know what to say, dude. I, well, it's, it's in a bit of a standoff right now because obviously the computer was still on with the 2600 XT in it, wasn't it? And the computer is still on now, but it's still dying and still, and still killing the screen. 
Mm, that's a tricky one. You've got to figure out whether it's a power delivery problem now that's caused that. Something's got over-volted, um, potentially. There's gone too much power, too much of a power draw. You've had a spike on your system. Um, if another chip has burned out, and that is what has caused the card to burn out, it's a difficult one, that, because we don't know it could be anything. And, you know, if you get too much voltage applied to that card, that'll blow it up. Um, it's, if anything, more frustrating now, isn't it? Yeah. The displays have Probably been stable not. for the last little while, um, and keyboard and mouse, everything is working like that. Um, I don't have audio, believe it or not, which is strange, but that could just be a preference issue. What what um, are the other card slots like? Was there any visible damage to any of the card slots on the machine? I haven't fully inspected, um, but there doesn't appear to be. The... Uh, my sound card isn't working at all for some reason. Is that your X mod? Yeah. Yeah. So could it have been? If that, if, 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 plug the X mod into your laptop and see if it works. See if it comes up. Because you could, what could the problem could be? Is you could have had like a power chip. You could have had a, like a power controller go funny. That could have potentially killed graphics cards, and then that could have killed other things. Yes, it could have. Yeah. Killed yeah. stuff on the yeah. USB side I mean, of things. It's weird. I used to think that a graphics card would have done it because of that that buzzing noise I heard through the mic. Yes. If a graphics card would have died, it would have just died and shut the system off. Yes, exactly. Then put voltage to somewhere else, which makes me think I reckon there's there's more to it than that um, than that graphics card. At least I hope there is anyway for my sake. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, um, it's quite intriguing, dude, because the, the X mod is controlling the system in terms of volume, but I can't hear anything. Fucking this, this Seagate's dead, by the way. That's just died on me. That's wonderful. I've got the dead hard drive here now. Why? Why has that happened? You're joking. You know, I've got a solution for this hard drive. Do you know the solution? You point this at the screen, right? This, 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 this hard drive here, mate. This hard drive right here. Do you know what's happening to it? <laughs> <laughs> no way! Fucking <laughs> room. Oh man. Uh, oh. What a day. What a day. Yeah, interesting day today. <laughs> um, this Mac Pro is still not happy, buddy. It's not just your card. Um, the X mod was just powering itself on and off repeatedly then when I was fiddling with it, so we've got some kind of I.O. problem. Yeah. Um, so. I wonder if that overvolted. What was it like in your in your laptop or in something else? I don't really want to yeah. risk it at this moment in time to tell you the yeah. truth. Maybe after I do this video. Yeah, because then you'll know if that X mod isn't working anymore. Then you'll know that it's uh, been overvolted. Yeah. Um, have you got any other disposable USB devices you can plug into the Mac Pro? Um. Well, I've got my Time Machine three terabyte drive connected to it, and that is detected and sitting on the desktop quite happily here, which is interesting. Uh, I, I would unplug anything you love or care about at this moment in time. Yeah, it's hard to know because it's. Sorry about that, dude. Hang on a sec. Um, it's pretty much everything connected to the machine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I tell you, uh, one one thing I will mention is if this is still um, still messing me around, I'm going to have to transfer my data anyway, so I'm going to have to get a shake on, aren't I? Yeah, yeah, you you are. I reckon. That's um, that's an interesting twist to the uh, to the tale, the uh, whole card thing. I like, surely it can't be the card. Surely it can't. Yeah, the display is just dipped out again now. Must be the must it's be something be, else. It's got, it's got to be I/O based. And either two things have happened there: either the card has died and taken something out on the board, or the board has died and taken the card out. Yeah. The question of which one is more likely to have happened? I'd say the second one is more likely to have happened, but it's hard to know. Yeah, I mean that 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 card has been like it's been around more than my ex girlfriend. That card has been in three machines now. <laughs> Did I say that out loud? No. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. Here come the feminists. <laughs> so everyone. Um...
I'm probably going to have to go and transfer my data anyway, as you know, my Mac Pro is still misbehaving. Will has been a great help. Um, <laughs> just by keeping me sane, really. <laughs> oh, no way. Right, okay. Um, yeah, dude, I'll, I'll let you go then. Um, yeah, that's cool. I'm, I'm about to piss off home now. And then Skype me in a bit, like, message me in a bit. I'll message you in a bit, man. Okay, nice one, buddy. Okay. Excellent. It's alright, man. Alright, guys. Right. Unfortunately, my mood has now deteriorated um, considerably. It's still funny, though, isn't it? Blink and Eck. It really still is funny. Okay. My Mac Pro is still messing around. The displays are going on and off whenever they like. It's not happy. USB stuff isn't working properly. I'm not happy. I'm not happy at all. And time is ticking for me to get this data transferred, but I really can't be bothered. I might just phone them and say, look. Oh, oh no. This, this is a struggle. They've just gone off again. They've come back on. Okay, I've got to calm it down, guys. I've got to calm it down. Um, wow. All right, guys, progress, progress, progress. Have a listen to this. We've got my X mod running. The, uh, to do that, I had to reboot the machine and the KVM switch at the same time, which is weird. So something weird is happening with the power and, the, and um, some weird looping is happening with the power or something. Something odd is going on. I still don't know if the 2600 XT, if there's something wrong with it. Really don't know what's happening there. Um, a bit, bit nervous actually guys, but we're getting more stable now, so okay, this, so something is happening. Um, just a little bit nervous, that's all. Wow. Alright guys, it is ages later, it's half seven, and as you can see, this is the video that I've just been editing. Um, and I've been listening to some Saxon, and I've been chilling out. Um, yeah, I'm going to basically describe to you guys what the hell happened right now. Okay, so, when I look at what happened, it all makes sense. It's an extremely unlikely occurrence, but at the same time, it's not a stupid, you know, it, it's not irrational and it does make sense. So basically what happened is a couple of things. Thing number one was my graphics card died, the 2600 XT. I've tried the 2600 XT in the machine on its own since, and it did not work. Um, that's totally fried and I'm very uncomfortable using it anyway because of the problems associated so that's currently leaning up against the wall over there looking pretty cool with its flames on its heatsink um, and that's quite appropriate considering the what it smells like right now um, so that fried itself now I've got all three displays running off the 640 again and everything is working fine but as you guys saw in the second Skype conversation that I had with Will the displays were flickering even when the GT640 was installed. So it turns out that my KVM switch, right, and this is a massive loop, the power adapter for my KVM switch is a European adapter, and it's in one of those adapters, and sometimes it comes a little bit loose. But normally what's happened in the past is it's just dropped out. This time it was on half hanging out. So whenever I put my hand on my desk, or hit my desk or whatever. If you go back to the last clip and have a look at when I put my phone down, I go with my phone, then the um, center display goes off and I say, oh, the screen just went off again. That was because the, the power socket was shaking on the KVM, resulting in a dip in signal, um, which meant that the Mac could no longer see the center display, which is the display c connected to the KVM. This also explains the audio issue and the keyboard and mouse issues, because when the KVM reboots, um, you have to press the switch twice, sometimes, to get the keyboard, mouse, and audio up and running properly, which is totally fine because, you know, you've interrupted it mid-flow. Um, so, this is interesting. Why were all three displays going off when this was happening? If it was a prolonged um, sort of dip in power for the KVM switch, all three displays would go down because the computer would need to... Um, reinitialize. You know when if you unplug a display, if you run a multi-display setup, it rejigs and selects another display as the main display and, and redoes the arrangement. Um, it was doing this, and that's why everything was messing up and getting confusing. 
Um, as to why my microphone was buzzing, I have not figured that out yet, but it could have something to do with what I'm about to say next. I have a feeling that the display is going off, on, or off and on all the time because of the KVM, um, and the amount of times that the 2600 XT had to reset because of unplugging and plugging in displays, that could have fried it. And as that was going, as all this input and output was going, that could have interfered with the microphone signal, you never know. Um, now that last bit, I'm a little bit unsure about. It shouldn't do that, um, but it may have. Um, the 2600 XT should be a very reliable card. I feel very bad that I've fried it, but luckily Will wasn't borrowing it to me this time. He wasn't lending it to me this time. Um, I paid him for it. So luckily Will is not out of pocket. Um, I am technically out of pocket because that's £40 down the drain on a graphics card that no longer works now. But it's okay because I'm just glad that A, my Mac Pro works and B, I haven't, I haven't let Will down in any kind of way. Um, now in terms of that video and the video client, they never showed up. They haven't even phoned me. Um, so that minimized the stress and that allowed me to continue with the machine. They may still phone me and they may still come up, but it's 25 to 8 now, so it's getting late and I want to leave um, in the next half an hour or so. Oh, in the next half an hour or so, I want to have a shower, get this video finished, and then in an hour's time, think about leaving, um, think about going on a bit of a, a Sunday evening cycle. Um, because I had a very long cycle this morning and I'm getting back in. Anyway, whatever. That makes no difference, but here is the, uh, oh, it's a screensaver this time, my display just went off again, but here is the thing, I've got Will waiting at home, and he says I can call him whenever I want on Skype, so, I think we should call him and tell him that the machine has blown up. Now what we'll do is we'll phone him on the Mac Pro, so that he can go, hang on a second, hang on I've got a text message here, this could change all, hang on a sec. Ah, it's not even the video guy. Not even the video guy. Someone totally different. It's my boss for tomorrow. That's good. That's great. Excellent. Anyway, yeah, I reckon we should phone Will from the Mac Pro. Tell him the Mac Pro is totally blown up. But then see how long it takes him to click. Because when, when I speak to him on my MacBook Pro, it's down on my desk. When I speak to him on the Mac Pro, it's up higher and I'm using the original eyesight. So let's give Will a ring and see what happens. Here we go, guys, here we go. Let's see how long it takes him to realize. Oh. <clears throat> oh, shit. Hello? Hey, Hello. dude. Let me get some video going. Hey, man. Good evening, what's the prognosis? It's totally blown up and died. Totally blown up and died, no. Totally, the, the whole thing, the whole thing has uh, has completely disintegrated. Oh shit, son! So what do you what, what's caused it? <laughs> I'm really kidding. We're back up and running, man. We're back, back up and running. running. Yeah. Oh, well, what's the story then? I told I told the guys. I wonder if you, I I just thought of a flaw in my plan. I told the viewers. Um, I wonder if you'll notice because I'm using my. I uh, like my eyesight and my snowball, but then I remembered that if the Mac Pro had blown up, then I'd probably plug my MacBook Pro into my setup anyway, wouldn't I? So yeah. I was, that you know that came to my mind. I figured, oh, he must have just plugged his snowball in, like using his eyesight or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Um, we've well, got two things, dude. Two things that happened. Um, <laughs> the twenty six hundred XT is, is toast. And awesome. I may have killed it because the flickering displays on and off was the fact that the transformer for my KVM switch, right, was yeah. half hanging out of the socket. So the displays were going on and off because the KVM had to reinitialize and all that stuff all the time. So that's what was happening. That's why the keyboard and mouse stopped working. That's why the audio stopped working. It's all running through the switch. And the reason that it was half hanging out is because it's a European adapter on one of those bloody converters. So my thought process is, because of the amount that the video cards had to reinitialize the displays, the 2600 XT must have got its knickers in a twist and caused the, uh, a bit of uh, an, an explosion there. <laughs> 
no refunds. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I just told, I just told the uh, the viewers in a separate little bit now that I was really glad that I'd actually paid you for it, and this wasn't while it was on loan to me, because <laughs> I'd feel very, very bad about breaking your card. <laughs> I probably would have laughed to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, um, I don't have another one to sell yet. <laughs> that's okay. That's okay. I think I will. I will leave my Mac Pro B for a little little while and just let it let it chill. Just, just leave it alone. Well, the twenty six hundred XT. What blew on it? That's the question. Yes, yes. That could be a future video where I take the heatsink off, have a little look, and see what's going on. Mm, oh dear. Can't trust you with anything now, can we? No, you really can't. I break everything. <laughs> and I've had a lot of failures on the channel this year, so... <laughs> At least it was in the name of entertainment. Yeah, it was brilliant. And I'm, I've edited the video um, pretty much of us um, and our, our Skype calls and that. And I think this is a video to go down in history, dude. I think it is. It's like... You, you could, I mean, we were sitting there thinking, right, what big item has caused this to break? It, it's got to be like a chipset has gone, or there's the power supplies overvolting everything, or the graphics card has simply uh, Harry carried itself and it's gone <laughs> boom, and, or I've sent it through the post and it's a piece of shit. <laughs> no, what is it? It's the KVM. <laughs> yeah. Um, Kittle's video machines, that's what it could stand for. Yes, it so, could, yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, I, I'm just glad it's not my fault. Um, I don't have that. I, I was driving home and I was thinking, hmm, what if that video card has killed his Mac Pro? How do I live that one down? <laughs> Dude, I think that would have been even better because it would have got my ass into gear to finish the Hackintosh and it would have been very entertaining to see the Mac Pro go up in smoke totally. <laughs> I think I would definitely had to have offered you a refund on that one. <laughs> yes. I wouldn't have accepted, though, because £40 is a small price to pay for a legendarily entertaining video. <laughs> and uh, the, at least the other 500 quid plus your computer's worth. Yeah. And on, uh, funny, funnily enough, actually, um, the Hackintosh is also plugged into the KVM, but luckily there is no power going to that machine, so no harm could come to that. Yeah. Um... Now, here's the big question. How do you intend to stop that from happening again in the future? I've already rectified the problem with man's best friend, and that is gaffer dog. tape. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how a dog would fix that. Well, it's like computers. Uh, my, my two favourite things can be fixed with gaffer tape. Computers and cars. If the, enough of it is used, it will work. For exactly. Oh. Exactly. Uh -huh. Yes. That, that's, that's, that's ridiculous, but... <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, it's just, it's just so, just so funny, you know. Looking back on it, it's like the, I wish, I wish I'd been like screen capturing that that Skype call because the look on your face, the moment of realization when you realised you've gone done fucked up, was just, <laughs> was just amazing. If I could re recreate it with something like this, oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> look like you'd shit yourself. Yeah. Pretty much, that is that is it. That is it, man. That is it. Uh, do, do you have any final thoughts for this video? Believe it or not, it's nearly half an hour long, dude. Do you have any final thoughts? I think I think the final thoughts is when this kind of stuff happens. The initial thing you need to do is when you notice strange stuff is power off straight away. These are tips. Power off straight away. Unplug everything that you have any care or love for in the world. Um, and then you need to check connections, check <laughs> check what's in place, check what could have failed. Look at the setup as it sits and go, what shouldn't be happening? Because after you unplug that setup and pull it from the desk, you don't know what could have been kind of pulling out and going like that. Um, you know, or, or kind of like barely making a connection. So that's my top tip for the future. Um, really, before you, before you, you rip everything power off, Look, visual inspection of what the hell's going on. Um, and if anything's on fire, grab a fire extinguisher. <laughs> yes. I, 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 I was thinking, you know, part of me thought, because I saw what looked like something very orange in the background of your camera when you went, oh shit, and shut the Skype connection up. I thought, something's on fire. What's on fire? What, what, why do I think there's something on fire? How have you got a fire extinguisher? <laughs> 
So basically, your tips revolve around absolutely everything that I did not do. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what? I've got, I've got a smoke alarm right above me here now. It's taken me three years to get a smoke alarm in my room, and I have so much tech, so I probably could have died a million times in my sleep. Um, and I have a fire extinguisher as well, because you never know when something is going to catch fire. And he stares at his own 2008 <laughs> Mac Pro. <laughs> <laughs> I am watching you. <laughs> okay, well, well, closing thoughts, I guess, is I suppose you can laugh at Tom's misfortune to make sure you don't do it yourself. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> oh. that, is, that is pretty much us, is it, dude? That, that is. I've, 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 I've got to go finish watching that 70s show, actually, on Netflix. Excellent. Plug. Enjoy. Plug. <laughs> I can't. I'm still out of YouTube audience. We'll both see you later. Take it easy, guys. See you in tomorrow's video. <laughs>